Fettuccine Alfredo, for many, it is their most guilty pleasure. Some creamy, buttery, sticky, cheesy, gooey, highest calorie content, highest fat content on the menu treat. But did you know that the original Fettuccine Alfredo was far from that? So, we are going to make the original Fettuccine Alfredo, starting with Fettuccine. Our pasta water, and now that it's boiling, salt it like the sea. Do not skimp on the salt. Now something special here, we're using less water than usual to cook this pasta because we want a very starchy pasta water because that is integral to our recipe. Swirl our pasta around to make it all soft and get it all in the water. Like I said, it's less water than you would usually use for cooking pasta. Uh, so you want to make sure that it's all uh, covered in water. You don't want any small bits on the end that are still kind of crunchy. That would be like a shell in your egg and that's just not what you want to have. The story is the king and queen of the American cinema at the time, Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford, were doing a vacation in Italy and they stumbled upon this restaurant and had the fettuccine Alfredo and were so taken with it that they continued coming back during this day for eight more consecutive days where they persuaded Sir Chef Alfredo to give them the recipe and it's believed that Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks are the people that brought Fettuccine Alfredo to America before it became an 1800 calorie a plate. We're going to let this cook to the package directions. Say to use dry fettuccine for this recipe. I don't know what the starch leaching content of fresh is. I could be completely wrong. It could be even more starch. But I, I tend to use dry for this. And uh, it's gonna be uh, probably about 10 minutes or so, 10 minutes or less to cook this. Pasta's done. Now here's the key. I told you we wanted starchier water. We are going to take about a cup of the starchy pasta water. Remember, we use less than what we normally use uh, in cooking a pound of pasta. So our water is starchier than normal, and that's going to add to our sauce. Okay, mitts off the heat, and once again, it's facial time. All right, so very few ingredients. About six tablespoons of butter divided, just so that they're easier to melt. Now, add our pasta back in. Gosh, just that smells really delicious. Butter and noodles, what am I, six years old? In smaller batches, some handfuls of Parmesan cheese. And we're going to use uh, about two cups of cheese. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of cheese. That's pretty cheesy. It's almost like the macaroni and cheese. But it's going to incorporate in. We're going to toss it in. And don't, don't toss it in all at once thinking you're going to save time because that's just going to get kind of globby and, and that's, not, that's not what our dish is. And as we toss, what we can do is start also adding some of that starchy water. And you can ladle it in just to control it or you can just pour however you want. This is not science. This is not fine French cuisine. This is a very almost peasanty and, and but still a rich and luxurious dinner. Oh, I can smell this now. It is making me so hungry. It's maddening, maddening. Toss again. And you wanna do this right away once you've strained the pasta. My understanding is that on receiving the recipe from Chef Alfredo, Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford's uh, gift to him was a pair of golden utensils, um, uh, a fork and spoon. And even though it's not the same restaurant, the family still owns a restaurant in uh, Italy and they make this dish tableside. 
uh, using gold utensils to toss. I, I, I don't have gold tongs. So that is it. That is our lovely, lovely fettuccine alfredo. Now we're gonna wanna salt and pepper it to taste. Again, maybe, um, I don't know, uh, a couple teaspoons of salt, cracked pepper. Not too much, because you don't want all these little black flecks in your beautiful Alfredo sauce. And I'm stirring it now because there's still some cheese that sort of needs to be incorporated. I can see some, some liquid still down there that uh, we want to absorb. So now we get our lovely plate. Fettuccine is a lovely pasta because it's flat and it holds a sauce nicely. They'll, you might have a little bit of uh, extra liquid at the bottom. Sort of pour that on top and it'll absorb it. As per most lovely dishes, you want to sprinkle some chopped parsley. The original, I will tell you, did not have chopped parsley. But we do have golden fork and spoon for a little toss here and for a little more parsley. And what do I have? Hmm, my cheese bowl. I'm just gonna have a little taste before everyone gets here this Sunday evening. Gold fork and spoon. Creamy. It's really remarkable. There's not, there's not cream in here. There's not milk. There's not some heavy whipping cream, half and half. Butter and pasta water and cheese. Oh, and a lot of love. We always make things with a lot of love here on Sunday Dinner with TK. Join me. If you like this episode of Sunday Dinner, click the bottom to subscribe to our channel. Look us up on Instagram for behind the scenes pictures and more at Jean Sunday Dinner.